Well, color me surprised because I wasn't expecting a Soundgarden song to be in this. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 8, Episode 6, Southern Comfort. And we had a licensed song. You know how long it's been? It's weird if you go back and watch the original five seasons of the show, really the first three seasons, and just see how much licensed music was used in the show. And then it gets so rare as it goes along. Like I remember when they used a licensed song in season 15 and I, I think I felt like I had been pulled out of a parallel universe. So it was cool to see, especially a Soundgarden song. While it's use in the episode is a little bit random, don't mind the mystery of this one. This is another one of those stories where they've taken something that's kind of been done already in the show and just giving a different spin on it, but still being able to give some sort of genuine feel to it. And that is with this penny that is being passed along, all linking back to Civil War brothers fighting each other and killing each other. And it just has people taking out their aggression on people that have wronged them recently. And it all also ties in to Sam and Dean. Give Carver credit. He knows he doesn't exactly have a lot going on for him this season, yet he's still making the filler episodes actually mean something in terms terms of what the overall narrative is and that narrative is very much akin to the first season being Sam and Dean and issue. It's becoming more clear to me now why I don't remember these elements as well as because while the episodes themselves are not as compact or have as much woo to them, they still are decent dish for the most part. And then you've got Garth. Sam? Dean. This is an episode of Garth I did not remember whatsoever. I will admit, you still like him, but they did push it. Especially with the Bobby comment. Is that Bobby's hat? Oh yeah, sure is. He left it in my car, so I kept it as a memento. What are you doing? It's not how you wear it. Kind of go like this up and down with him, because he's wearing Bobby's hat. He's trying to say Bobby's euphemisms and whatnot and, and catchphrases. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't at all. You're such an idiot. No, wrong. But Garth is still Garth in this show, and you have to give credit to the actor that he's able to pull these things off, for the most part, in a favorable way, considering the circumstance and who he is referring to. Balls! Sam and Dean's strife between each other and the whole Benny thing is starting to slowly come to its head. We now see Sam more so has the upper hand because the first thing he mentions is when Jewel State got stabbed and killed and- And what about my friend, Amy? She was what? Because you're sure as hell didn't have a problem ganking her. Well, I guess people change, don't they? That is one big pile of shit. Oh, buddy, if you said that to me after something like that, I'd punch you in the fucking face. And then obviously the penny leads back to Dean, and then there's the confrontation between the two of them about, you know, what they're going through, what's happened, Sam abandoning Dean. And then at the end of the episode, after everything is said and done, Sam comes back to it and says, you better understand why. I told you from the jump where I was coming from, why I didn't look for you, but you, you had secrets. You had Benny. And you got on your high and mighty and you've been kicking me ever since you got back. But that's over. And if Benny Gump comes across me, I might just ice him. And now there is another beef between them. Yeah, I'm talking more so about this because the actual story of the episode is very forgettable with this Penny thing being passed along. I will give credit, while that montage comes out of nowhere about where the Penny came from, I like how it's used in the episode mainly because of the Soundgarden song. But I also love it when the sheriff just gets blasted. <laughs> it just comes out of nowhere. Or when the window in the hospital gets blasted. <laughs> that actually made me jump. I genuinely had a, a jump scare from Supernatural, which I don't even remember the last time that happened. I think Garth, he's maybe used a little bit too much. They tried to do more with him than they probably should have done with him, in, in, in all honesty. But I still think he's all right. I like the strife between the brothers in this one. But again, going back to my comment earlier, I am remembering why I don't remember any of this. It's good enough that it's progressing the story along as a weekly show would, and it's giving you that carrot of intrigue. Just want to stay in tune with it, but that's kind of it. Not doing much else beyond that. And unfortunately, that is going to lead into, once again, me giving this episode 
a 4 out of 7. We are now going through probably the most mid-season of Supernatural I've ever experienced. Now again, we're only 6 episodes in, but mid is the best way I can describe this. Again, I know someone mentioned that the first half of the season is kind of eh, and I am definitely seeing that. So I'm hoping that that second half really boosts up, but we still have a ways to go before we get there. Those are my thoughts about this episode. Let's see what you guys have to say. This is one of the episodes I forgot about while watching the show in real time. However, on a rewatch, this is a very good episode. Uh, I, I'm in the same boat. I forgot about it entirely as well. I like the idea of a vengeful spirit bringing out the vengefulness of people with a coin. I also really like Garth in this episode, how he stepped up after Bobby died and how he stands up to Dean after talking about Bobby's role. There was some good humor. We won! good character interaction, and a really good scary monster. The hidden vengeance of the quest of the guest character was relatable, except for that last one on a bad call from an umpire. Nah, not exactly vengeful worthy. Yeah, no, it's a small ding. Yeah, it was a little bit weird. I was like, uh, what? <laughs> uh, excuse me? Southern comfort is anything but a comfort, with the exception of Garth in this episode. It's nice to see Garth taking over helping hunters since Bobby's death. Love how he became a hunter, killing the tooth fairy, and then became a dentist, uh, like he always wanted in season 15. Oh yeah, you're right. It's nice to see Bobby impacted other, how uh, Bobby impacted other hunters, but it makes you realize his departure was more personal to Sam and Dean instead of having a hunter's wake. It can feel forced that this is how Dean is getting his frustrations out, how he feels about Sam not looking for him when he got, when he vanished. But Sam's side seems more genuine. It may be your typical vengeful spirit episode, but I love how it's paced and gives you some fun, brutal horror kills. Let alone the real saving grace is Garth's uh, genuine contribution to the episode. Garth definitely has some good moments. There are a few that I'm like, eh, but then there are some good moments as well. I really enjoyed seeing Garth again in a way he is the new Bobby because he basically always setting Sam and Dean straight just like Bobby did. When they are at odds with each other, it was interesting learning how Garth got into the hunting life. I like how Garth stood up to Dean about Bobby, and he's totally right. Dean isn't the only person who cared about Bobby. I also like the final conversation between Dean and Garth. Once again, DJ Qualls did a brilliant job. He just finds a way to make you like him, no matter the circumstance. When Garth snapped at Dean for telling him off about Bobby's role, saying Bobby belonged to all of us, Dean, not just you and Sam, I'm just taking what he showed me and trying to do something with it, that's all. I really actually felt for Garth, it's probably the moment I started liking him. I saw, he had wormed his way into my heart already at that point, but yeah, that would have been a good moment for it too. <laughs> Southern Comfort is a skip episode for me. Not a big Garth fan, and at the end of the episode was not a good ending. I enjoyed the, the flow of this episode, but as the first comment made it, uh, but as the first comment pointed out, I didn't even remember this episode at all. Next episode is A Little Slice of Kevin, so make sure to give me your thoughts about that episode in the comments below, and I'll read those off in the next review. Until then, guys, I hope you enjoy, and I will see you guys on the next one. See ya.